the concept is pandas today pandas and this is another another way of storing and processing the information like like numpy in numpy also numpy is also is a library which is used to yeah. which is used to store and process the information process the information in numpy directly we are representing representing the data using one dimensional arrays one dimensional array two dimensional array and we can and we can use multi dimensional array multi dimensional array okay here just like this one pandas we are using pandas also we are representing the data one dimensional array is representing using series two dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays we are representing using that data frames three dimensional arrays we are representing using panel but of course the i mean multi dimensional array which is not required mainly we concentrate on series as well as data frames series is a class by using this we can create the object by calling the constructor <clears throat> in the same way to construct the two dimensional array data frame is a class by calling the data frame constructor we can create the object we can create the object that is so here now how can we how can we code this how can we code same just like numpy first we are taking first we are taking one list import same like numpy we need to download and install that pandas also import pandas see here i'm just taking as pd sir what is this as is just like alias name alias name so instead of using this pandas completely simply you can use this pd now what we are doing here we are taking that list simply to say my list i am taking with some values 1 2 3 4 5 some values we are taking how can we construct the series object there numpy means what just numpy dot array is there in the same way here pandas pandas pd dot of course pandas dot series yes capital letter is very very important by passing this my list as an input it will return the series object we are just collecting that my series my series before that i'll do one thing i'll show you by creating one empty series one empty series i'm creating my series my series equal to equal to pd dot series object i am creating i am just printing that my series just empty series it will return like this empty and we didn't mention the type also na no? we didn't mention the type so by default it is taking that type is object no sir i am just creating that series with the list from my list we are creating the series and we are printing it's the same story but look at this whenever you are printing the only difference is what along with the values it will show the index also these are the values 1 2 3 4 5 
but every value is represented with the index 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 with the index it is writing with the index it is writing and simply we are accessing using their index and you know that using that for loop as usual for suppose each element in my series and we are printing that x printing that x one two three four five values it is printing sir particular value i just want to display is the same story you can use that my series of with the help of their index index starts with zero na? at second location what is the value three is there that free element is printing free element right easily we can add the series easily we can add like concatenation all other operations simply we can do here whenever you are representing this sir i'm i'm passing this value directly i'm passing these values directly and just printing that my series 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not only this, along with this, you can represent the index also. Sir, index, I just want to give. Index, I just want to give. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Normally, index starting with 0. Na? Now, index, suppose whenever I am representing, please start my index with 1. Na then it is not starting with zero. But the values I want to give like A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Of course, is a strings. So how can you represent with the single quotes? With the single code. Like this, just run it. Look at this. Index is one, two, three, four, five. Values. Sir, suppose I am giving values, not all. Single value I am giving. We can call it as a scalar object. Scalar. What is that scalar object? The single value is representing with all these indexes. With all these indices, you can represent. So, by default, if you don't give the series, it automatically starts with a zero. No. I want to give the series. Yes, you can specify that index. Index values you can specify. This is the one. Is a one dimensional. Sir, if I want to maintain the two dimensional is called data frame. First, let me represent the data frame using that nested list. Nested list. Look at this. 10, 20, 30. Next one, 40, 50, 60. Next one, 70, 80, 90. This is not a series. You must use data frame by passing that nested list. It will give that frame. Suppose my data frame. Simply I am printing that. Simply, I'm printing that frame. Just run it. Look at this. Index indexes not only in a horizontal, in vertical also it is represented. Got it? Is the one. Not only not only in a horizontal in vertical case also it is represented this is the way the next one is see we are constructing the frame using that nested list the same thing you can construct with the dictionary also so normally how can we represent the dictionary my dictionary 
dictionary is a key value pairs key value pairs for example i am taking that person name and age person name and age person name and age suppose i am taking like this now i am constructing from my dictionary from my dictionary we are constructing and printing look at this what is this you need to represent what is comes under rows and what is comes under columns so that's not the correct way of representing sir then how can we represent what is that value what is that name instead of this the same thing you need to represent like this column name is a name column okay what are the values of names a list of values represent comma what is the name of the column age what is the column name age represent the list this is the way this is the way is the same we are writing same we are writing ages we are taking like this now when you are executing this look at this see what will happen here what are we are giving here name as well as age will become the columns look at this name is a column age is a column sir total how many records are there records as usual is representing with the index starting with the zero index starting with the zero that is no sir particular value i want to display okay my frame of using the name using the name only name i want to print means what look at this data frame of name name is what a column name na the column name is representing all values all values sir i need only this one first location value simply here one from the name column one got it this is the one okay now here it is we are representing up to here data frame is there data frame representing okay now what will happen here here we are writing like this data frame my frame of we are writing like this gender equal to representing first one male second one female third one male we are writing like this and simply we are printing this data simply we are printing look at this now if you want to add new column directly you can represent the column name as well as set of values simply you can add sir i just want to display after adding i just want to display only filtering the data filtering the data look at this from my frame this is very very important from my frame you need to display that my frame that my frame age i am representing age my frame age is greater than 25 print only the values which are from 
25. See my frame of age. In age column, who is having greater than 27, 25? Only 27 is there. Only the 27 only. See, what is this? Complete result is a 27. Complete result is a 27. The 27 only will display. The 27 only will display. This is simply to say filtering the data. Simply to say filtering the data. Got it? Right. Next one. Hope you got it. Now, the next one is, for example, multiple data frames easily you can merge. Multiple data frames easily we can edge. All, all are predefined only. For example, here it is we are writing. This is we are simply writing is a data one or a better d1 d1 and next one we are writing is a d2 we are writing is a d2 here suppose two values here also just two values Two values we are giving. Two values we are giving. Okay. Like this. That multiple values. This is the first one. And this is the second one. Got it. Right. Next. Or it is expecting something. Hmm. Now, simply, first we are creating that data frame one using that first data. Next one is a data frame two using that second data. Using the second data. And simply, how can we merge means what? Like uh, from pandas, con concat one method is there. Concat. Okay. We are we are passing simply df1 and df2. df1 and df2. We collect into df3. And printing that df3. But whenever you are printing this, all the values collecting from df1 and df2 takes positional arguments, positional argument, but two are given. Only one it is taking, you are giving the two. What is that? You have to provide these two, these two as a list. Always you need to provide as one, provide as one. But see, look at this, how these things merge. First index is 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. Got it? Second index is also 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. So then what we have to do is actually here, we need to use this one, ignore index. Is it true? By ignoring the index, same index you should not take. Now look at this observe. What is that index? 0, 1, 2, 3. Like this it is taking. Sir, I just want to sort this df3. I want to make sort. So sorted data frame is equal to df3 dot sort 
sort values is there sort values using what by all these are predefined remember by which column by age column you need to sort so finally we are printing that sorted dio using the age we are going to sort look at that index is as it is it will not change only just the sorted df we are printing sorted df we are printing that is the data frame is the way of representing the data in two dimensional format in a two dimensional format is actually so many things are there sir for example here it is name is there here also same name is there here is also same name is there data exactly same like here it is also 19 19 age is also 90 90 now when you run normally two times it is printing with the same value na sir i don't need duplicates actually i don't need duplicates simply here it is df3 dot you can use a drop duplicates one method is there drop duplicates okay just here it is removed or unique df simply proper names we are using so whenever you are printing that one data frame is there see now look at this of course we didn't sort na sort gone and duplicates i mean duplicates also gone duplicates also gone that is the way okay directly unique values option is also there sir i just want to collect from unique from the series simply all are predefined only that way. for example yes see series is equal to pd dot series i am just passing that list directly 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 2 like this are there okay now how to remove duplicates easy just that name is a sorry here it is sa dot unique option is there that directly you can print for everything there is a predefined function just it will remove all the duplicates only unique values it will print no sir i don't need unique i need count i need count which one is counting how many times total count this is how many times that value is there how many times that value is there no not a direct count i need a value counts each value how many times repeated look at this one six times three five times two four times for one time for one time like this okay so many options you can drop the columns you can rename the columns you can reset the columns finally main thing is what complete csv file i'll explain that csv comma separated values file is there it is just like representing the data in excel sheet just like excel sheet only that excel sheet how can we convert into pandas pandas data frame that is the thing so what i'll do in the tomorrow class first of all how to create the file how to read the file in the same way how to create csv file how to read csv file then that csv file how can we convert into that pandas data frame that is exactly what we are using in a real time storing the information in the csv file and whenever it is required that convert into that pandas data frame and using processing the data that i'll explain in the next class okay then we will come back to the ds linked list
Higgenly. Ah, 